So hi, I'm Sagar, and this is your go-to space for your coding related stuffs, coding tutorials. And uh, now I will be sharing about my interview experience for SD1. Uh, so first one was the screening round and uh, these all things are like uh, this company came into my college like in previous year and I am 25 pass out uh, so it came around in November uh, so in, uh, there were four rounds totally first round was mainly screening round in which there were three questions of the DSA uh, and first was easy level questions and the other two can fall into medium hard so total time that was given for uh, this complete screening round was 90 minutes. Uh, so it is not uh, necessary that you complete all the three questions. Like for me, uh, I have completed two complete questions and uh, one for, and the third questions, I have completed half of the test cases. And even then I got selected for the further rounds. Uh, uh, and for my friends also, like they have also completed uh, two problems and then also they got selected. Uh, then uh, coming to the second round that so was in phds one interviewer first made me comfortable like uh, by asking like uh, uh, how was your day or this kind of uh, initial questions and then uh, he gave me uh, two questions uh, like falling between uh, easy medium so first question was find all triplet with zero sum exact same question was asked and i solved it and uh, in the second question it was uh, check if a binary tree is subtree of another binary tree so basically in the first phds one uh, like uh, he was mainly asking me to do the dry run for both of the codes uh, in the second questions i did some mess in the explanation part uh, so my advice will be that uh, if you are explaining uh, be very clear and take the help of the um, examples or do the dry run so that the uh, interviewer also understands that you actually understand the problem and how to solve and uh, what's the logic behind each step so interviewer may try to cross question or try to put the things here and there like uh, what if uh, uh, the what if the root of the second uh, what is the root of the second regional or what is the root of the first uh, regional so uh, through these kind of questions they may try to uh, uh, cross question you so uh, handling these things uh, is a very important thing because in three three kind of questions there can be uh, there can be various uh, uh, places where you can be cross questioned so let's uh, move to the further round. Like I have completed half, uh, both of these questions, and then I was moved to the PSDS two round, in which the questions that were asked were a little bit dif difficult than the PSDS one. Uh, so in PSDS one, sorry, in PSDS two, uh, first questions that he asked about uh, some variations of the word wrap. So here you can see the word wrap word wrap problem. And the second question that he asked about the prefix, some variations of pre prefix, some array. So these two questions we are asked, and for these two questions, uh, yeah, he has first to uh, explain the problem, and then I have written the code, and then I have explained the code, and after that, uh, uh, like uh, he also said me to explain the example, and finally, uh, your course will be running properly. Your course would be uh, running with all the examples that were given in the problems, and uh, same for the second problem also. So for all the two rounds before PSDS one and PSDS two, they have uh, shared one Google uh, doc link and in which uh, there were questions. Uh, so uh, for PSDS one, uh, he said me to write uh, the code there only and uh, explain. And for PSDS two, uh, he said me to move to some any editor of my choice and then write the code and implement the example there that I would like to uh, suggest that when you are trying to solve the problem uh, start from the very basic approach or uh, you can say brute force approach and try to level up uh, to the optimized approach uh, so after completing uh, all the previous three rounds screening round uh, PhDs one and PhDs two I moved to the hiring manager round in which uh, like they were asking some uh, HR questions like why do you want to join Flipkart and uh, like I was from different branch like uh, I was from core branch so why uh, have you decided that you want to uh, get the job from the like IT field or these kinds of questions and mm, then uh, like uh, he has said me to uh, walk through my project one full stack project that I have made uh, so i explained each of the functionality of uh, uh, the modules uh, he asked me to walk through that project so i explained each of the modules each of the, each of the functionality that was in the different modules uh, so various things that need to that is needed to be considered while explaining the projects uh, first why did you make that project what's the purpose that is serving or what's the problem or real world problem that it is solving 
then what's the problem that you have faced in the uh, project and how did you solve and what's your role in in that uh, project and uh, what are the take a step that you have used in that project uh, so these are some of the important uh, areas where they can ask questions about your projects and uh, if uh, you explain or uh, in the starting part like in the flipkart sd1 interview uh, they were nothing like uh, walk us through your resume kind of thing so if any other kind of interview happens and they tell you that walk us through your resume so you try to explain these areas of the projects like uh, this will almost take one or two minutes and that's important uh, uh so that's all about my interview experience for sd1 uh, in flipkart uh, so if you have any kind of questions regarding the interview experience uh, uh, then do ask in comment section and also i will be providing the link of all those questions in the descriptions from there you can move to the actual questions and try on your own uh, so thanks for watching uh, i will be coming in another uh, video where i will explaining or sharing my interview experience for other companies so thanks for watching